Or did we? We did! I like wasn't even watching this. I, I was so <laughs> into my discussion about documentary reality. Yeah. But yeah, it's messed up. Good thing I'm good at video games. I'm all messed up, you know? I'm all messed up. I'm all messed up. <laughs> I'm all messed up. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we watched that. <laughs> that you knew what I was referencing. Yeah, I showed that to you. Did you? Yes. Oh, good. I was like, that's like one of my new favorite cartoons. You had never seen that before. Okay, good. Oh my god. Now I think of that when I'm writing fanfiction. Because I'll write, oh I'll write like a really messed up scene. And I'll just be like, I'm all messed up. I'm all Wait. messed up, you know? <laughs> My mom is gonna freak. <laughs> 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 oh, my mom would freak if she saw my fanfiction. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, like, if you got a tattoo. She would also freak at that, which is unfortunate because I may get some in the future. Oh god, what is this? Please open me gently. You don't have tattoos, do you? No. Are you gonna get one? Probably not. Mm. I don't have any plans to get one. I've been sitting on some ideas for more than a few years. Mm. And I think if you've had it for that long, you're officially okay to get it. Yeah, probably. Yeah, a friend of mine recently got a JoJo tattoo. Oh my gosh. And it's really cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Like, it's up there of, like, tattoos I would consider getting. If but... I ever got an anime tattoo, mm -hmm. I would get a Full Metal Alchemist tattoo. What kind of tattoo? I would either get the Ouroboros. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Or the um, the symbol on the back of uh, Al's, not Al, Ed's coat. Oh yeah, yeah. Those just look cool by themselves, but it's my favorite anime series. Yeah. That or Sailor Moon, because Sailor Moon, anything's adorable. Oh. But um, yeah, I want a Times New Roman V on my wrist right here. Uh -huh. Um. Right just there. Just black. Wrist. Yeah, right there. Which is weird, because usually people get them, like, lower down on their arm. Uh -huh. I don't know if it just, like, hurts more right here. Probably. But I know they can do it, and that's all, that's where I want it, so. Just about, like, a uh, couple inches long. Mm. And then I want For another... first initial. Yep, it's also my lucky number. V. Five. <laughs> Roman numeral, yeah. <laughs> my um... lucky number is V. <laughs> uh, my, but... my lucky number is, uh, M. M. <laughs> I think that's, like, a thousand. Uh, it might be. But, um... It's, I don't know, people say it's gonna mean something to you. I think it looks really cool. I think it's okay to get a tattoo if you think it looks cool and you've wanted to do it for... Yeah. It's like, whatever, it's your money, your body. Just go ahead, it yeah. doesn't matter. I mean... But I guess when I started putting the V in front of my name, is when I feel I started like distinguishing myself as an individual, right? Mm. Okay. So it is kind of important to me that way. But it also just looks badass. <laughs> so there's that. And then uh, I want a phoenix on my back. Um, like your whole back? No, God, no. <laughs> I was gonna say, just, that's, that sounds like a whole back kind of tattoo. No, just a little circle, like, yay big. Okay. Viewers, that's again about two inches um, all around and like kind of just between my shoulder blades. Yeah. And I keep my hair long anyway, so probably it'd be tough to see unless I have my hair swept back or whatever. And I imagine you don't go shirtless a whole lot. I don't, unless I'm at home. But, <laughs> <laughs> uh,. And that would be, again, just a circle, be a cool little design, uh, maybe watercolor or something. Make it look pretty. Yeah. But that is a symbol of my resilience, yeah. and also because I like fire and I like birds. A watercolor tattoo. Yes. Those are pretty. I, I thought it was gonna be like some kind of fad, but they just, they're really pretty. It's a cool way to get them done. Speaking of like tattoos and fads, was, like you were saying like, you know, a tattoo is alright to get if it just like looks really good and like... I think, I think so. Like that? goes as long as it's not something that's like going to be a fad like tribal tattoos that is probably true john has one of those doesn't he john like from work yes i don't know he has barbed wire oh yeah yeah he has something on like his yeah. upper arm i don't know what it is he exactly. definitely has a barbed wire tattoo or something like that but yeah because he like... told me not to get one because he regrets <laughs> his yeah i was gonna say like i would not get a tattoo of just like something that you think is cool now because like yeah it's amazing how like tribal tattoos like were like super popular for a really short time and now they're just <laughs> yeah. like really stupid and corny. I've I don't know I I'm still young I guess, but I have one of these for like since I got out of high school, and it hasn't changed any over like five years. Yeah. So I'm like I think that's enough time. Probably. And if it's not, you know what? Laser removal's getting better and better <laughs> every passing day. That's true. So. Um... And. 
They're pretty easy to cover up. The one of my would be a little bit harder, but there's makeup tricks you can do. I spy some platforms down here. I don't know. I can be like Count Olaf. Olaf. You ever, uh, you a series of unfortunate events fan? I saw the movie a long time ago, once. You gotta read it. Hey. hey. Jinx. I, I, knew, Coke. I knew there was something. Okay, I'm trying to think of what other jiggies we need. Jiggies? Oh, I'm, I'm still trying to find the last Django. <laughs> there, uh, Have we climbed that tower? Not the really tall one, but the other one. Not the lighthouse? Not the lighthouse. Different tower. I don't know. It's around here somewhere. I don't even know how I got here. Oh, like there it is. It's right there. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure I climbed that. Okay, I haven't been paying attention. It just has, like, a flight spot on top. Where's Snacker? I don't know. Did you find his one blind spot? Maybe. I hope so, because it's also, like, the... Oh. Oh, nope. <laughs> like, the one spot where I can't He's get back He's just like, you up. called? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I was trying to get up higher and, like, you know, spot a place I can go. Gosh, I haven't paying attention. I don't know what other jiggies are to get. Oh. Obviously, there's, like, three more. I don't know. Maybe there's one in one of these treasure chests. Oh, wait! Go in the sandcastle. Go up to where sand you're Yeah, you, you're going the right way. I didn't even see a sandcastle. I just realized I'm leaning, like, away from the mic. I'm sorry. Oh, I think it'll be okay. Okay. I think it'll have enough gain... <laughs> uh, I, I thought it was this way. There's a sandcastle somewhere around here because I know it's mm. around this area. Um, a sandcastle. Yeah, there's a sandcastle somewhere. There's a treasure chest. What's that? I think that's another light. Oh, oh, you know what it is? I think there's like a switch you have to pull. Switch? Do you mind if I play for a second? Oh, uh, yeah, you can wander around. I feel like I've think. like covered this whole level. Mm. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> uh oh, you're gonna get blowed up. No, it's fine. Yeah, there's that jump pattern right there and I'm not sure why. I guess just to get there. Yeah. There is something over here. There's like a bucket guy that you talk to. A bucket guy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Is his name Buckets? I don't remember what his name is. Like the brother of Bottles. Bottles actually has a brother. Is his name Buckets? Nope, it's Jam Jars. Jam Jars. And he appears in the sequel. Oh my god. Where is it? I know there's a bucket around here. Hmm. Why would you even let me go over there if I there's nothing to do? The whole level is kind of a big circle. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna fly and see if I can find it. Alright. If you don't mind. Here, go for it. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> That's not flying. It's falling with style. <laughs> it's not even that. <laughs> that was not stylish. Uh oh. Oh, why would you come from that way? Materializing shark. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I've never seen a bear swim that fast. <laughs> I bet bears can actually swim pretty fast. I don't know. I don't know if I've seen a bear swim actually. Bears swim? Polar bears. Oh yeah. Sure. Grizzly bears swim. They get salmon from the river. Yeah. You ever seen Brother Bear by Disney? Oh, when they I had was like in the like whole scene room. where they all met. They all were at the salmon run together, and they were getting salmon. Ulti hippo, how and accurate. He was like, Coda, I killed your mom. I killed your mom. Oh, oh, Jinjo! There it was. It was on top of that pole the whole time. Oh my god. Kazooie knows. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Got all jingos. Is that the end of the level? Nope. We have two more to find. And I know how to do it. We need to find the bucket guy in the sandcastle, and they're both in the same area. Are you I sure know they are. Are you sure they're in this level? <laughs> what was that look? What was that look? This is a beach level. Oh. It's a bucket and a sandcastle. I'm pretty goddamn sure. Maybe there's <laughs> more than one level. level with a beach. No, I don't there's know. not. Well, in the sequel, there is. Maybe you're Jolly thinking Rogers of the sequel. Bay. I promise you, I'm not. 
I promise you they're here. We saw the sandcastle. Did we? We did! They're over here somewhere. I would roll back the tapes on that one. I don't recall. I promise there's a sandcastle Do not here. recall a sandcastle or a bucket. Yes. Ever. They're here. They have to be. Hmm. I know the sandcastle is at least. There's two more jiggies. Like, they have to be. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Here, if you want to keep flying around for a second, I'll look up the tutorial real quick and just no, make sure. If you want to. Now it's a race. Who's gonna find them first? <laughs> Why'd you fly me like right out into open water <laughs> before you turn over the controller? I'm sorry. You can always uh ascend. Yeah. I keep wanting to say accelerate, but that's not correct. Well, there's the uh, hermit crab guy. Another jilted lover. Is there anything else in the world that gets jilted? Maybe like a, a lever if you hit it wrong? A lever? There it is! There's a the sandcastle! There it is! Oh, there it is! That's a... I told you! I was not expecting it to be underwater. Yeah, like, you gotta drain the water. I didn't suspect that that was a uh, castle. I thought it was just like a weird block. Oh. I'm sorry. I was totally wrong about the location, but it was there. Okay. It was there. Okay. That means there's something else. The bucket guy has to be on this level. I just didn't register Batteries it. Battery's in the desert level, and I'm mixing those up. I just didn't register it as like a... A thing? Like a castle. Okay. I just registered it as like a block of sand. Okay, we got Blubber, we got Nipper. You're in the sand castle right now. Oh god. This looks you... like a puzzle. We got that one. Um, I think. Did we get this one right here? Yes. I'm pretty certain. You might not have. Do I need to drain the water out of here? Did we get the jiggy that was in like the mine pool? Uh, mine pool? What, with the floating mine guys? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay. Do I need to drain the water to do this puzzle? Yes, you do. How do I drain the water? I thought you were the expert at this game. I know. Drop down to a ledge near the sandcastle to find a bucket. There is a bucket on this level. Drop down to a ledge near the sandcastle. Yes. And you'll find a bucket. You'll find a bucket. Okay. Apparently there's a ledge over here somewhere and there's a bucket. Okay. Oh, there's is a that ledge. the ledge? That's the ledge. Is the, I don't see a bucket. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's like a jumping bucket. Oh, you gotta get it from above. Yeah, so you above. do have to drop down on. That's why it. I was taking so long to find. Yeah. Okay. I see. <laughs> With this music, I can't be annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope everybody else feels the same way. <laughs> oh, look, more notes. Let me get those. I gotta get all the collect 'em ups. Yes. Oh, look, you're so close to getting all of them, too. Yeah. I think I the rest might just be in the sandcastle. Oh, I hope so. Oh, uh, not happening. <laughs> I should be so lucky. Mm -hmm. oh. All right, all right. Maybe I'll speed run this. Whoops. <laughs> here we go. Okay. So, is it over here? I think so. There it is. There he is. Yeah. Me leaky, no good for water. Can bear block hole with pebble. And so, you can solve this right now. What hole? Like in him. You have to fill his hole. <laughs> Did that do it? Yeah, you had to do it two more times. I have to fill his hole two more times. You have to keep going. One is not enough to satiate him. <laughs> Uh, it was only two times. Okay. You keep patched up now. Empty water for bear. And the water sports too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this makes sense. Yeah, you, you squirt some eggs into a bucket and all the water goes away. It's the beauty of Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. I, I learned about the birds and the bears. <laughs> oh, God. Jeez. I don't... She often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly. 
polishing her crystal ball. Like, that's the shocking part. Yeah. Like, like is that a metaphor for something? Oh, God. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna call it now. <laughs> Please. Why would they put that on Showing the cover? Showing myself my future. Oh, my God. You can't get that right.